So I got some more storage boxes from IKEA um, where I'm gonna put my bookmarks and washi tapes. I also got this, I saw a lot of artists um, having it on craft fairs. They use it for cards but I thought uh, I'm gonna put my banners in between just because the banners tend to take a lot of space on my table so I hope this is gonna work, I'll see, I'll test it out first and, and if it works I'm gonna paint it blue obviously to match my setup and then I got the storage boxes I probably won't use the big one, I will probably just use the big one for something at home but there are two lids uh, or like two little boxes on top and I think these might be perfect for washi tape. I had my wire mesh for washi tapes last time but the wire mesh kind of wobbles on the table so that wasn't great. So I'll see how many washi tapes I can fit in this and yeah I will probably do something with the color as well just so it matches with my setup and then I got three of these big storage boxes just to put our Halloween stuff in uh, it didn't come with a cat <laughs> hello Sophie but yeah basically this is all of our Halloween stuff that I already took down but because it's in the box some of the things got damaged last year so I thought I would just buy storage boxes and store it properly so nothing gets damaged for the next year so I'm gonna start putting away the Halloween first. I just hope that three boxes is gonna be enough. I was hoping I could fit it in two boxes, but I'm not very positive, so we'll see. So I had two of these weights and one of them actually got damaged. So this is the reason why I got the boxes, but yeah, I had two of them, one was smaller. But at least the bigger one, the nicer one survived. All of these tombstone are from cereal boxes and these are all handmade. I could maybe do some tutorials next year um, before Halloween. I didn't manage to do any this year but yeah I might do like a couple of tutorials for these kind of things for Halloween for the next year. This one's actually plain gin bottle but I just liked the look of it and it matched the theme of my decoration. Oh actually I might fit it into two boxes, that's perfect then. I'm gonna have one spare box for something else. And here's a cocktail menu I did for Halloween party. And this is all made with the gel pens and the gel pens light up in the UV light. So that actually fit into two boxes so I'm super happy about that because that means I will have one box spare for anything else, maybe Christmas. So yeah, that's great. All Halloween sorted. So ignore this absolute mess and chaos in this room because we got new sofa in our living room and we are sleeping on that sofa ever since. So we actually stopped using this room and we barely ever go here. So like pretty much everything that we need to store away is here. So the lights and like little bits and pieces. There's a carpet cleaner and there is all my craft fair stuff that needs to go on the shelves that we still didn't do so yeah at the minute it's just all chaos and mess in here okay i think this is absolutely perfect people can actually kind of go through and see what banners i have and it doesn't take as much space on my table because I would just have them lying down on the table and it just took way too much space and I need to put my washi tapes there and I'm still expanding so yeah this is gonna save me a lot of space on my craft fair table and I actually have two new designs um, and I still didn't put them on my Etsy I'm using them for my craft fairs at the minute I also use these backgrounds as my backdrop for photography 
so yeah once i have a little bit more free time i will add these on my etsy as well this is what i was using at the minute on my craft fairs but the bottom isn't very stable and i don't really like the look of it as well so i'm gonna use this instead and i hope there's gonna be enough space for all of my washi tapes So that fit pretty much just perfect, maybe one was left out but that doesn't matter. Uh, I might just reorganize a little bit the order, I just did it quickly for now just to see if they fit. But yeah, I like this way better, uh, I'm still not sure what I do with it, if I paint it or if I just leave it like this, but I think I'm gonna paint it either white or blue. And yeah, I don't really like this wire mesh, I don't really know why I got it, but I can use it for something else. And this I'm gonna probably use it for something in our household because this is too big for my table and I'm not really sure what to put in it anyway. Yeah, it looks super cute. I'm really happy with this. I ordered a trolley on the wheels this time so I can finally put a lot of the stuff in the trolley because until now we had to carry everything by ourselves but yeah I'm gonna have a trolley here in a couple days so hopefully I'll be able to fit as much as I can. Okay, so that pretty much fits in everything I've got, um, except this table and this trolley, which is absolutely perfect. I'm gonna take the table and the trolley in one trip, and then I'll take all the rest in this trolley in second trip. So it definitely saves me loads of time going back and forth, and it's more convenient. I've got another sticker delivery! Yay! I had a sticker design before that I was making at home. It was a constellation series of animals and I finally decided I'm gonna outsource them. So I tried three designs out of 12. So let's see how they look like and if they look really nice, I will order more designs and more animals if these came out well. So let's have a look on them, shall we? Also, if you're wondering why my curing and wash station are gone, it's because um, I've currently emptied it. It's on my desk here. And we got some cute cut shelves for our kitty cats that needs to go up because they usually sleep on this shelf. So I thought it would just go all the way from this shelf and it would lead above our door frame. So yeah, that's why this is currently empty.
and I also got sample, I already got sample from Sticker App, but they updated their sample pack and they've got some new effects there so I thought I'm gonna get a new sample as well just so I know how it looks like for reference uh, and I might actually be using the new effect for my future stickers. And here are the stickers! Oh my god, they are so cute! So I used to make these at home but it was really hard work to make these work because there was like three layers that I had to put together and cut on Cricut so sometimes it would fail and it would really be costly to make it at home. And just to show you the new effect that Sticker App has, so they've got this pixie dust which is very similar to the glitter but it's more tiny and I think it actually looks more like a glitter than this one does. Um, so I really like this one, so I think from now on instead of glitter effect I'll be working with the pixie dust because look how adorable this is, this literally looks like a glitter. enough for you. <laughs> Come on, you can do it. Go on. <laughs> you need to check it. Observe the ball. <laughs> Come on, have a look. You can do it. What is that? Just watching. Wanna go when you see him sleeping? <laughs> now you wanna go there? Hello, Luni. <laughs> She's coming to annoy you. <laughs> I'm very sorry. <laughs> Just don't fight you two. Okay. We are just going for Christmas decoration and Lonnie thinks he's gonna grab them for us so you go Lonnie, you go! <laughs> Over there! You need to open that! <laughs>
So I've just finished the organizers and the stand and I only did them blue. I know I had different plans with these but unfortunately I had tooth infection for a couple days and it was really painful and it was such a bad experience and I was crying for two days in pain. So I don't really have any time left to do it in different color. I can always paint over it but for now I'll just leave them blue. It will have to do because I've got so much stuff to catch up with. Um, so yeah, that's the organizers for the washi tapes, that's for the banners. And I saved up these two blocks from one of the parcels I got. Uh, I'm gonna stick them together and this is gonna be to make the banners higher. And then the washi tapes are gonna be on the bottom, so I've got like two levels. And I'm gonna cover it in blue tissue paper. So yeah, that's these two done. So I'm gonna start working on these blocks. And here it is all together. I'm gonna be eventually getting another box but this was coming as a set from Ikea and it was quite expensive so I'll be buying it eventually but not now. It will do for now. Uh, I've got the box on the bottom then the stand for the banners and this is how it looks like all together. And I can't wait to see it all set up on my craft table. And I have to figure out what to do with this because as much as I like this kind of setup for my stickers um, I'm releasing way more stickers than I actually can fit. I've got these two new designs that I still fit but now I have four different colors of pal cuts and I've got three zodiac signs. So that's seven stickers that I cannot fit anywhere so I need to figure out a way how to display all my stickers because this no longer works.
just getting ready for my craft fair and I just wanted to show you my ears and my tattoo so I put reindeer ears because it's Christmas craft market so obviously reindeer and then I put this tattoo with stars and moon and how cute is that so yeah this is what I've got for my craft market and I'm almost ready to go I just need to dress up what I'm wearing I've got this green sweater uh, with mushroom with the reindeer ears I've got this skirt ties they are actually pretty thick they are not thin they are like the leggings ties and then I've got these boxes, so that's what I'm wearing for my market. So I've got everything ready and packed here. So I've got my normal trolley and the big trolley that I just ordered. Um, stickers and all the boxes in there. Um, yeah, this specific market doesn't have a lift. So unfortunately, I'm not sure how we are going to do it with the big trolley. We will probably just take the trolley by the main entrance and then carry everything upstairs. But we'll see, we'll figure it out on the way. But yeah, so this is all me packed and I'm ready to go. Before I end this very last vlog of 2023, I want to share a magical moment with you from our recent visit to Newcastle Norton Lights. It was absolutely mesmerizing and beautiful and so, so magical. I also want to thank you all for your amazing support throughout this incredible journey in 2023. I look forward to seeing you in another vlog in 2024. And until then, I hope you have all wonderful holiday season and I wish you Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Thank you.